All right, so we're gonna be showing you today a waterproofing system that we put on this custom home. You can see this behind me here, these are stem walls and this foundation is below grade. We're gonna show you what we used and we're gonna show you how we put it on. So let's take a look. So the product that we used here, this is what we call J-Drain 200 and it's a dimple mat. You can see this, how it's built like this, it has, rigid plastic that you can see here and it's got a flat kind of flat on the back the dimples come out and you can see how this is flip this up so you can see it but this material is very strong from compressive standpoint so this lays against the wall like this and then it push you push on this and this the idea is that this filter fabric holds back into the soil and then this keeps this creates a drain plane right here for the water so this is protecting Tremco 250 GC that's on this wall and you can see all this waterproofing here so this is what's actually waterproofing the wall and then this goes this strange mat goes on against it and then what happens is the water once the soil and the rock or whatever you put up against this material is put up against here it protects that uh, the actual Tremco 250 GC on the back and then it creates a drainage plane where it comes down it also relieves hydrostatic pressure so the idea is the water comes here it hits this mat it hits this drain plane and it runs all the way down the wall down to the top of your footing which then on the top of the footing you have a it's another product by j drain so j drain it's an swd and this is a six inch so this has a, about a one inch dimple mat on it just a sim very similar to what you just saw here with this material but it's thicker so it allows more water flow to happen and then that goes all the way down to the top of the footing which you can see here and then we protect the top of the footing with this dimple mat that you see here the j drain 200 that we put on top so you can see this we laid this flat on top of the footing and that protects this that we waterproof with that trim code 250 gc on top there so the idea is these this uh this wd drain it has these Fitting. This is a corner fitting. It's six and a half inches tall, and this goes around the corner. You can kind of step back here so you can see this. So it goes on the corner, and you fit that piece, and you cut those that SWD material, and then you push it into there, and then that takes the corner. And then also, I'll show you a transition where it actually comes out into a pipe on the other side. So the idea is, is the water sheds down the wall through this dimple mat. It hits this bigger drain, this SWD material, and then it gets channeled out and goes out these other drains. So this will just drain down, so and hit this mat and roll all the way down the footing into the rock down below. But uh, it's it has to fill up in order to you know it has to fill up to actually flow out. So uh, it'll take the path of least resistance, obviously. But I'll show you how that we have it set up. So if it did fill up, it would take off and goes out into some drains. All right. So the other step that we did here at the the actual vertical piece of the footing here is we put another piece of six inch SWD dr uh, drain here and this is down on the vertical you can see the waterproofing we waterproof down about three four inches on the vertical part of the footing and the idea here is that this is replacing any type like a four inch perf pipe that you put at the bottom like a regular French drain so and then we're just back filling up here with good clean rock and it goes up against this it has, already has a filter fabric built into it so we have an SWD drain here at the the vertical part of the footing we're protecting it here on the horizontal with this at the drain j jane or i'm sorry j drain 200 then we have another swd uh six inch drain here at the base of the wall and then we have the actual j drain 200 all the way up to wherever we have our termination bar at the top the termination bar keeps any soil from getting down behind this in the top like this the top of that wall looks exactly the same or this material looks uh, exactly the same as this you don't want any soil getting down in here so that's what that term bar does it also holds it up so it doesn't fall down so the, and then we have all this the 250 gc all the way behind this that's protecting this and then down at the bottom it's really important this cold joint where the wall meets the footing and I have this in another video that we've already shown you, but this has, we've caulked this with the Daimonic 100. So that Daimonic 
uh, 100 you have to take and prep like any tiny little holes it, it i mean even smaller than a dime as you go around this thing and just make sure that anything like these little pit holes like that you see here these are all taken care of you can see the size of them like even that doesn't cover well when you put this 250 gc over so you got to make sure that you cover these up real good with the caulking and prep all these before you roll on this 250 GC. All right, so here's an example of the SWD drain and how that comes over here. So this is another fitting, it's a T fitting. And that you can see that six inch material right here. And what is going on is this is now, I uh, got a, it's a T fitting that comes out into a four inch pipe. So we go to solid pipe here at this point. So you can see these fittings coming out. These are glued up and this is another one down at the bottom, picking up the footing one here. And then these take off and we go out here and we're actually going to a drain field that will absorb any water that comes out. We've also got our gutter system tied in where you can see here, the gutters will have a, will be coming down and dumping into these pipes here. This is all solid pipes. So it's not soaking into the ground like with perf pipe. And then you have this gutter that's this is going to be a gutter as well this 190 you see it's not connected that's after all this foundation pipes so you don't have any issues with this you don't want any water getting around the foundation so all this is solid pipe not soaking in anything here that hits along this foundation is going to end up making its way if it, it was to build up which i highly doubt it because this is a very dry climate anyway but if it was to build up it would build up enough to where it would flow around the footing and then go into this pipe and down and out uh, this direction here all the way out into our uh, leach field that we put in for just this or it's a drain field really is all it is so you can see along the side here this is we put this rock up here to hold this uh, SWD drain up because it's falling off the adhesive doesn't work really well if you buy like a 3m adhesive it doesn't stick very good uh for very long so it'll fall off on you we'd like to not use the mechanical fasteners if you don't have to because it ends up having a penetration in that waterproofing down near that cold joint which is not ideal so you kind of walk around the outside here and you can see how this is all done so this again steps up on this side again for a porch that you can see here and you have the same application all the way down so what you these sides here this will just this will just get uh, backfill as we backfill this will hold this up against the wall and that way you don't have to do any mechanical fastening on this it'll just we'll just make sure somebody's here and making sure it fill, folds up correctly and that'll uh that'll work just fine all right so the next step is we're gonna actually start throwing in three quarter inch crushed rock around this foundation you don't have to do that you can use regular soil but we're doing that just as an extra precaution it's easier to put into it compacts really well and that's going to have that'll go just below the turn bar and then we'll put some actual real dirt up above you know as we go above the turn bar maybe some topsoil on that on here all right well hope you learned something about waterproofing the foundation on a custom home if you are needing help buying or selling a home or land reach out to us at freemansrealty.com if you're needing help building a custom home or an ADU, reach out to us at freemansconstruction.com. Thanks again for watching.